Hello everyone, uh, this is Sunday morning, we are on the July the 3rd and uh, today I will make a quick update of uh, my hydroponic setup here. Uh, this is my test setup and as you can see we've got some pretty big plants. Uh, this one is making its way, so I'm making a, a cable route from here to there and just added another cable to go further um, and you can see the, this guy is uh, getting big so I'm trying to support it so that uh, it doesn't damage the plant and basically uh, this plant is um, this is the end of the plant it goes this way it goes within the greenhouse in here in this little hydroponic setup so you got all the roots here and the plants make its way and I just put the other one uh, on this side here so this one uh, is coming from uh, the setup you see uh, right there which is a different one I will show you so uh, this guy here uh, it grows here and it uh, goes onto the, the wall there uh, and uh, yeah it, uh, it tried to crawl to the top and get out so I want it to reach the end of the house at the end, the, end uh, the corner on this wall and see what happens next <coughs> and uh, yeah uh, there I got strawberries uh, I've got uh, potatoes um, this is uh, pretty <laughs> pretty um, not uh, maintained at the moment because I have a lot of work um, so yeah how is it going within the greenhouse so uh, here uh, I just trimmed and uh, maintained everything uh, so as I said here I have the, the first hydroponic setup uh, which is uh, Tira Aquatica one uh, um, it's a 10 plant setup so I have my uh, peppers uh, right here those are pepper plants uh, this one too uh, I've added those flowers which are uh, very great very um, nice to um, keep the aphids away uh, because the aphids will love those parts of the plants where the um, new leaves are and uh, the new flowers are and those flowers are very efficient to uh, you know take them away uh, what do I have? I have uh, yeah, a, a melon plant also, so it's growing from there. Uh, you can see there is one here, uh, there is another one right here. And uh, as for the pumpkin, uh, I took the plant and um, showed the way to the outside. I've made uh, holes right there that I can close during the winter. And here we got um, our tomato plants. Uh, so this one uh, is a, a, a normal tomato plant with big tomatoes. I uh, already taken out the red ones. So I'm trying to get only one big plant and uh, cutting all the secondary leaves. This one is uh, uh, for aperitif uh, tomatoes. I don't know how you call it in English. So yeah, I already took out the red ones and you see it's growing everywhere and this plant is making this and it's going all the way, the way to the top and making it coming back. So if I go on the other angle, maybe we can see better this way. So yeah, the, the plant grows like that. Here is the, the main part of the plant. It continues like that and I'm trying to make it grow horizontal and you see that along the way we have a lot of tomatoes growing and this guy is very healthy and is going to be so big here you have the pumpkin that you see on the outside so I've trimmed a lot of the leaves here uh, you see the the plant uh, first it went up 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 uh, I kept uh, kept it there uh, to try to get it contained and it's making pumpkins here um, there too and there too and it gets out there 
and my main problem actually i got two uh, main problems uh, the first one is uh insects uh insects uh eating the tomatoes so i'm trying to fight against those uh, I'm, I'm not sure i can find some at the moment because i can see more of them in the afternoon but uh yeah i will be uh, able to to show you that maybe later uh, i don't know it's how it's called in english it's the the insect that smells a lot when you smash it on the ground you know um and uh, I'm using my uh, hoover here to suck them uh, one at a time. And when you do that every day, it works pretty well, uh, I have to say. Uh, so I don't have to use any products and so on. And um, I've had also difficulties with uh, the cucumber plants. So the, the cucumber plants is this one. Uh, I've got one here too. And uh, the cucumber plant uh, has, you know, the very famous fungi, the, the white spots on those. And uh, the white spot goes on the leaves and below uh, the leaves. So it's, uh, let's say, not an ideal situation because uh, those fungi will go from the cucumber plant to the zucchini plant and also to the pumpkins, uh, which is not great. You can see here, traces of those spots you see so what I'm doing at the moment is trying to um, make it a hell for uh, mold for those spots uh, and to do that I'm using uh, soda uh, so you see this is French uh, soda you take like uh, two teaspoons of those uh, of those um, or coffee spoon and I put it in that sprayer uh, so this guy uh, I use uh, rain water that I get from outdoors and I only put uh, two coffee spoons for five liters so this guy is five liters now I do what I do is that I I spray all the leaves all the big leaves from all the problematic plants you see so I, I spray on top and I spray also on the bottom at the bottom of the leaves because a, a lot of the fungi we try to get below uh, because it knows that uh, it cannot um, it has uh, more chance to to live there so um, I'm spraying the plants um, each uh, every two or three days on each leaves and you can see this zucchini plants uh, this guy was supposed to die uh, two weeks ago uh, it had a lack of water and everything fell down uh, and I had to force it to make uh, new leaves so you can see all those ones are very healthy so what I also do is that I'm um, periodically every two or three days I trim all the leaves that I see white spots on uh, on those um, and as you can see right now you cannot see white spots so this one is uh, pretty good and uh, I believe uh, that with this technique of spotting the spots all the time taking the leaves away all the time on, on a continuous basi basis and spraying the plant with that uh, will solve the issue or at least contain it um, and yeah this solution why does it work uh, so that thing is um, a very very uh, soft treatment it's not a strong chemical uh, so what it will do it will it will change the pH on the leaf uh, so um, that the fungi will not like it and uh, will not uh, continue to grow because the pH is wrong for it so that seems to be working uh, I've been doing it for a month and a half now uh, because the cucumber plant became sick uh, very quickly uh, after I uh, put them uh, into the greenhouse uh, so yeah been doing that and uh, I believe it will work great uh, also those cucumber plants um, I've cut them uh, by mistake so they had a pretty hard life but they're getting better uh, summer is still long uh, and everything will work fine at the end what can i show you uh yeah uh, i have my um 
but I will just take this down. Oh, uh, I have my dozers. So I've got the, the green Ponic dozers here. Uh, I've got the um, uh, controller. This one is um, linked to the sensors. You can see uh, the wires right here. It goes uh, onto this guy here. Uh, it checks pH and EC continu continuously. Here I've got the, the four pump dozer. Um, it's linked to the three parts from Terra Aquatica, Grow, Micro and Bloom. Uh, I also add CalMag because uh, I'm using uh, I'm using water from uh, rain, so it doesn't have any magnesium and calcium in that, and uh, the plant would be in deficiency if I didn't have CalMag. So if you use rainwater, just add this, and you will be fine. Uh, the other dozer, dozer is only for pH. So here I got a pH plus and pH minus solution. So I will keep the a constant level, uh, you know. And uh, I've applied the same logic right here. Uh, the, the only difference is that it's semi-translucent uh, containers, so you can see the difference uh, between the solution. And I'm also checking the levels, you know, uh, how much is it's used um, per solution. And here we also have one doser I've put for only EC. One doser is only for pH and it's linked to the controller. The controller has the wires of the sensors plus the tube for injection right there and it goes into uh, this guy here and so regarding the the systems uh, this one is a neb and flow so basically i've put a lot of clay balls here because uh, the roots um, are going from there to there and they are taking uh, quite a bit of space and depth uh, so I just wanted to put as much clay balls as possible so that I can um, provide protection from the sun uh, for those roots. And on this one, um, you can see the root system right here, for example. So yeah, th this is the root system. Ah, it's pretty dark, but um, yeah, the, the roots are, are pretty uh, clear. Uh, here are the roots for the pepper plants and what I'm trying to do is to limit the level of water uh, within this system so that uh, parts of the roots are um, in the air at all time and the other parts within the water. Uh, this way you avoid uh, roots uh, problems like uh, root rot for example. And uh, on the other one uh, the roots are even bigger can see here yeah it's pretty big I don't know it's like if I take the measurements it's like it's this big uh, so yeah I, I say basically I have uh, between six and eight centimeters of roots within the system and it will continue uh, to uh, fill up all those rails uh, I just have to check that the plants don't block the, the flow of water, but it's um, yeah, it's not a lot of maintenance. Um, what I want to do now is I want to isolate this part because all this part isn't isolated from the sun. So I will add some uh, you know um, foam that you have in your packages when you buy things online. I will put some some foam to block the the rays uh, from the sun. And uh, the last thing I will add is, yeah, I want to add a tablet. So uh, uh, I have a tablet that I will put to have a, a dashboard maybe there. Um, and the goal of that uh, is to have a, a constant uh, tablet that I can, you know, scroll and uh, enter parameters to control everything there because uh, I've got the, the Green Pony controllers. Um, I'm also working on uh, level auto level control from those guys to uh, add water automatically. Uh, I'm also adding an automatic fan system. I have a fan here just to, um, you know, uh, don't have stagnation of humidity uh, anywhere. 
it's off right now because uh, I don't have want the sound for the video but I will turn it on later uh, here I've got the, the vents that are automatic things, thanks to those guys and I will also add uh, I have uh, well it's not there but I have uh, extractor, extractor for the air an extra one that I will put it here and that will basically push the air uh, uh, to the outside uh, so that you have this constant flow from this guy and uh, you have the ability with the future extractor here to recycle the air because those panels here the transparent panels are windows so the air will come from there and get to there so that's it for today and uh, I will uh, catch up later for future updates Talk to you soon, bye!